Hello, you're listening to Mystic Orange. Uh, you're, this is Talking the Shadows, um, episode 35. In today's video, um, I'll be talking about um, episode 18 um, from Lynx Club season 1. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, settle down, settle in. Um, I hope you are in, enjoying yourselves. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, what's uh, will be? Um, it's very hot today, so uh, uh, I hope everyone's f fine with me. Um, anyways, um, I'm I'm also hoping like I don't have like dry throat today because uh, yeah, it's uh, so hot today. Even though it's September, but you, you know. Uh, so I'll be reviewing um, um, season one, episode uh, eighteen. Um, so um, <coughs> so um, so we so we left off with like the last episode uh, that we uh, it's like um. It was there. I, I would say the last episode. It was a um, an interesting episode. Like it's like a, a it, you love it slash hate it. It's a, it's a love hate uh, episode. Um, it's it's like one of those episodes like it, you talk about, uh, but it's still like, um, it, but has like bad elements in it. But you know, um. Um, at least it's interesting to talk about, but you know, uh, in this episode, um, we see uh, uh, reper reper repercussions of like uh, of that episode. Um, um, so Bloom is uh, is kind of depressed, I think. Um, it's kind of dark, I think. Uh, how they uh, went, it, I feel like this is kind of like. Bloom going through a depression, uh, but let me know what you think um, in the comments. Um, she's really given up, hasn't she? Like uh, everything's confusing her, confusing to her. Like her life has been a facade. Um, I think if you watch Unicorn of Wars um, nightmare video. He does goes on a section on Bloom like everything at this point in this episode uh, in this season uh, everything has been a facade like it, like she thought she knew everything but now like all these truths uh, are, are, like have been revealed like and lies have been told and now she's like you know um, she doesn't know what to do. Um, like is is she even a fairy or is she even a human? I feel like you know, um, you kind of have to feel sorry for her, um, and you know she decides to if she wants to leave. I feel like this is kind of like um, her leaving out fear and going back to home. Like um, this is kind of like um, uh, I feel like it's a mix mix. Uh, like a message, uh, like the, the hidden message behind this, like you know how someone is in depression, like um, you know what happens. Um, I feel like how the situation is in here is kind of like makes me think of that. Um, but let me know what you think. Um. Um, so it looks like you know she just wants to go home uh, back to to earth and like the the girls are like you know they want to her to stay back uh, but you know she's just given up uh, so she leaves um, uh, her dorm uh, like leaves the girls behind uh, um, I mean I think this kind of adds to the spiral uh, of that whole Winx meme, like, we all know this, like, Bloom running away from Earth, 
uh, running uh, uh, running away from Althea. We we all got that. But you know, um, d but you know, I feel like in here is kind of justified. But uh, um, but yeah. <coughs> so she goes uh, back home. Uh, uh, the song like uh, plays uh, from the. I like this. I like both of the songs from like both the Cinelume and Focus. I, I like both. Um, you can't make me choose which one is better, but cause I, I like both. Um, listening to them, it, it just makes. Uh, and I feel like you know, people um, they put love um, hate on Bloom, uh, which I don't think it's fair. I think you know Bloom is uh, an interesting character. If out of the six girls, uh, she's not my, f she's my least favorite, but it, she's still my, f she's I uh, still like her, you know. I, I I'm not I, st I still think she's a good character. You know, she, she like she's not like the others. Like she's not as um, interesting as others, but. Um, but I think you know she's a good character, um, and I I, I think um, I, I'll be one of the few people who will like defend Bloom. Um, you know, I, I, if anyone who I wouldn't defend, it would be Sky and Riven. Uh, but you know, uh, but Bloom I would defend. Um, so she's uh, goes home uh, like vanishes uh, like. Uh, Stormy stalks her. If it's kind of a meme, um, you know, like she just f follows Bloom. Like it, it's kind of f funny. Um, so they're like um, the tricks. So they plan to like you know uh, go um, follow her back, follow her home, really. So uh, it's their chance for her to like you know uh, target. A bloom, uh, once and for all, uh, to get the power back, uh, like get the dragon fire. So yeah, I uh, I love um in the Parker's dub, uh, like uh, uh, when Darcy goes like um what do we pack? And I see like just a uh, whispering cr crystals and um a t toothbrush. I think it's a kind of comical. Um, I I just love uh, Falkers like, uh, you know. I, I mean, I do like both Cinderloom and Falkers, but uh, I love when Falkers adds these uh, funny lines. Um, I mean, I, I think when you compare it, uh, they're both. Um, uh, Cinderloom is more faithful. Is has more, but I think Falkers just has a, a, like a spice uh, humor. Uh, they they know they know how to do humor, um, um, so um, they all uh, so Bloom goes back home, and she like uh, you know tells her her whole thing to her parents, Mike and Vanessa, and you know it's really uh, nice you know, um, it it, uh, it did make me feel like, you know like. A bit em um, emotional, like it just uh, how uh, like how Bloom is feeling and like how her uh, like adoptive parents, um, like those two are the only ones left in her life now. Like um, she left her friends behind back home. Um, she only has those two and Kiko. Um, you know. And you know her like out of, like um if when you think about it, those are the only parents left of her family, so you know um yeah, it's kind of it, it's like so sad how you know how nice they are um and it's it, I think I really appreciate Wings Club like um presenting girls like. Uh, this is how adoptive uh, family is like, and they're not going in a like, um, uh, like not making them look feel like antagonistic. 
like Bloom's not being antagonistic and um, um, the parents aren't being antagonistic like uh, everyone's like uh, listening to each other like um, like Bloom's understanding uh, what like you know her adoptive parents care for her and you know like I mean she did um, I think in episode 13 like she did have that reaction like natural re- reaction when you like when you find out you're adoptive but it, it really like um, it, it blows me away like you know she still loved them uh, and they still love her like it, it's just incredible like you don't see that in most adoptive uh, like uh, families in sh- shows um, you have like oh these uh, kids they just run off uh, and like uh, you're not my uh, real parents or something like that it's just um, I'm glad that Wings Club like uh, handled this. Um, so um, so the uh, so the tricks uh, they all come uh, to um, Earth, and I think it's really funny in the Falcons version as well, like how uh, like the, they kind of like dissing Earth because let's be honest, um, it, it, I think in the magic realm uh, Earth would be lame. But you know, in reality, Earth is like let's be honest. Like, look at the pollution uh, we have in the real world. But I assume, like in a magical world as well, like Earth would be kind of lame um, because you don't have magic. Um, so you know, um, it's like uh, uh, going to uh, a blind place uh, where everything else is interesting. So yeah, um, so uh, Bloom, um, you know, helps around with uh, her pe- pe- her mother, uh, like you know, cleaning and stuff. Um, I- I'm going off this by memory, like uh, I'm not doing this chronologically, because uh, you know, uh, anyway, um, she helps with the flowers and stuff. Uh, she remembers like what Flora did uh, for her, you know. Um, is you know, she misses her um, t- thingy uh, friends, um, and she, her parents comfort her. Um, yeah. Um. She, uh, we do see Mitzi again. Um. Uh, uh, whether you love her or hate her, she's uh, so iconic. I think. Um, I think I don't mind either version of M- Mitzi. But um, you know, sometimes uh, uh, this is kind of a thing. I mean, I'm, I'm a focused on I, I know, but uh, there, sometimes like when I'm not in the room, sometimes I think like Mitzi kind of sounds like Misa because I know these, they're both played by Lisa Ortiz. But sometimes I'm hearing like Misa's voice, and it sounds like Misa's uh, making fun of uh, Bloom. So uh, I'm always uh, like, oh, it's, it's kind of uh, funny, actually. Like, uh, it sounds like Misa is uh, making fun of B- uh, Blue, but like, but you know, it, I do find out like, uh, it's Mitzi. Um, I will say like, um, Mitzi kind of does sound like uh, Misa. Like, I will say, um, uh, for Lisa uh, Ortiz's performances, um. She does I see well and she does Misa well. Sometimes uh, Digit kind of does sound like Misa a bit when you like hear it, and sometimes Mitzi does sound like Misa as well. Um, I guess uh, Digit is a bit more robotic, like you know she's supposed to be. Uh, she's the like techy one, um, but Mitzi you can kind of hear uh, Misa. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but you know she does. Uh, Lisa Ortiz does IC really well. Like, uh, uh, I don't know the voice actress for the Cinelim version, um, but I like her performance as well. Like uh, her, her whole whole um, speech a mono- monologue with Bloom in the later scene of uh, uh, Chef Kiss. Um So yeah, um, so. Um, 
Um, uh, I'll talk more. Um, it's really hot in here. So, but, um, so, um, so Bloom and Mitzi, they have the like, um, it's like spat. Um, so, uh, Mitzi is kind of like you know like wonder why Bloom is here like she's kind of uh, funny uh, like a mean girl but it sh uh, there's a charm to her um but yeah yeah I also have to think about like uh, who's uh, like Bloom's first uh, uh, rivalry like you would think it's tricks but you know uh, Mitzi was the tricks before the tricks so you know um uh, she's cool. Um, so, uh, and in the later scene, she does turn uh, Missy's uh, 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 like bike into a pig, which is so funny. Uh, so, um, a bloom um, goes off uh, back home and then sees uh, her parents like tied up with the um, vines and stuff. Um, and you know, it's her, uh, the tricks, um, they caught her parents, uh, which is really uh, cruel. Um, I'll talk about it li more uh, uh, later. Um, so the tricks, um, find Bleem, uh, and they're like, you know, they want her power back. Um, but you know, um, uh, this. They set uh, not to like you know attack Bloom, and you know um, Bloom like you, you know um, she's just laughing like as if uh, he's gonna uh, defeat um, Bloom. You know Bloom's uh, she, at this point she's powerful enough to like handle herself. Well, you know. Uh, so um, the Bloom and the Tricks they all have a battle in the sky. Um, I think it's really cool seeing when the wings fight is so funny, uh, but I think one scene in in the park is the uh, is I thought it was funny. Like, um, you see like strangers, um, they're sitting in the bench, and they're like uh, seeing the flashes. Um, they're like, oh look, um, the girls like, oh look, there's the fireworks in the sky. Uh, I thought it was really funny. Um, I think. In the Cinderella version, uh, they say like it's a storm, but I think it's funny uh, in the focus dub like, oh, um, the girl is like, oh, it's something she thinks she thinks it's something um, like cool, uh, cool is happening, like, uh, yeah. So um, it's it's, it's funny, yeah. Um, so yeah, after all that, um, the tricks they're like, oh, um. They may not, uh, Bloom might not listen to them, but maybe they'll, she'll listen to her parents. So, you know, they all vanish, and then Bloom's, like, brain just clicks. Uh, they're gonna go after her parents. I mean, they could have done that, like, ages ago, but, you know. Maybe give uh, Bloom some time, make her uh, feel tired. But, you know, um, they could have done that from the start, you know, like, just uh, have, uh, like, how the parents be like out on top of that vortex like the the first thing they sh they, they should have done like when we got to uh, the house you know if we didn't need the whole not just uh, whatever I mean uh, you got to love it but yeah um, sacrifice logic I guess um, once again um, so this scene um it really hits me um in my opinion this bit is kind of like really touching to me like uh basically the tricks uh like put her parents they they drop her in the vortex um you know when i think about like episode 13 and onwards to this episode it really hits me like how like this is really emotional, like, you know, um, basically, um, like I said in earlier, like, um, Mike and Vanessa are, like, the only two parent 
only people in her family, like, like, they're not even her blood related, but like, her adoptive parents. She is the, the the only person she they have left of her. Like, um, if they went, uh, like, if they were gone, that would be it. Like, like, she had she had no parents, you know. Like, she, she thought she had like she thought her birth parents were gone, but look. Uh, you know, um, and we all know like the whole story from like season one to season three. Like, we all know like what happened to her parents. Like, you know, Volta and stuff. So like, imagine uh, like at this point, like she would have lost Mike and Vanessa. Let, let that sink in. Like, you know, uh, that girl. Oh my God. Um, I feel like um, I do uh, feel so bad for Blue. But I'm glad that she saved it because that I'm glad like she saved them. Cause you know, uh, um, it just it shows like uh, how important they are to Bloom. Cause you know, um, they uh, cared for her when no like you know, like a good par- parents. Uh, uh. Sometimes you just wish uh, uh, that uh, re- reality was like that, you know. Sometimes you you know, when seeing parents behaving like this. So yeah. Um, so Bloom saves uh, them. Thank God. I I hope K- Kiko is safe because I I don't know where he is in this uh, episode, but you know. Um. Um. So, uh, Bloom is tired, exhausted from all the pulling. Um, I think they all, like, pin her to the uh, wall on, like... I think this scene, um, is really, um, cool, like... I mean, it's a little bit dumb as well, like... Uh, now you know, um, uh, what you're supposed to do now, like, like the tricks... Uh, just give a law, uh, like, what the, um... Which is what they were supposed to be doing, uh, but you know you could have figured that out like a few episodes ago. Like you thought the dragonfly was in the ring, but now you know it's in the uh, girl, and now you know like you know the coven and stuff. Uh, uh, but at least they know now. Uh, they dropped this uh, law out of nowhere, but you know. Um, so they're in the uh, state now, like, they're going to take Bloom's power, um, you know, they do. And it, you can really see, like, at this point, Bloom has, like, fully given up. Like, she is half her strength, and, you know, like, you can t- tell, like, in her, like, um, when, she, when she, gets, she gets her truth form, like, she's the um, princess and stuff, the whole thing. She's like, oh, another truth, um, you know, I'll give up, you know, you know, you can really tell it's kind of like, um, like, like a, an homage to depression, and I, you know, um, it really it is touching. So yeah, uh, the tricks, they take her power, and they vanish. And I think it's really cool, um, how they, it, like, I see Darcy and Stormy, how they, uh um i would say like um the the that's like the peak uh you know um before they were stupid you like you know what i mean like season five onwards i mean they were stupid in season three but like you know how egregious uh but like season one and two one especially like you just know like these girls they're more than just the high school they're evil and I just I, uh, they're just fantastic uh, I, I love I see Darcy and Stormy just for their villainous uh, um, so they go um, go off um, I also like the the voices as well like I mentioned about uh, I see's voice but I do like um, Darcy's and um, Stormy's voice in the Falcons version um, I'm not a fan of uh, um, them in the Cinnalyn version. I mean, 
Stormy is alright, I guess, but uh, Darcy's voice is kind of like, she doesn't sound like a witch, in my opinion. I feel like um, Focus Darcy sounds more like a witch. Um, it, yeah. You, you can really hear her, like, um, in the Focus version, she her gives that deep voice. She sounds like a witch. And um, Stormy, is, she's just iconic. Uh, with... Some of the spell names, oh man, like Electric Beauty Kick, that, that's just iconic, iconic. <sighs> um, so yeah, um, so Bleem is like, on, like she wakes up like, with her eyes open, um, and you know, it's Michael and Vanessa, they like got Bleem, and you know, um, Stella comes in uh, like with the portal, uh, you know, the uh, she kind of like um, yeah, tried to get Bloom back home with Kiko, um, and then Bloom get hugs uh, Mike and Vanessa, and I I think yeah. So that's it. Um, so, um, I think the best uh, moment for me is like it just um, I think like. Uh, Mike and Vanessa. Um, I I think there's a lot of good moments in this episode, but like, I think um, just um, how Mike and Vanessa like, um, how Bloom saved them, and you know, that whole thing. I think that's really um, touching to me. Uh, so yeah. So let me know uh, what you think. Um, I would recommend checking out. Um, Wings Forever podcast, um, Lola Valentine, um, did review on this episode, episode as well, um, so, um, yeah, I recommend checking her out, um, so yeah, um, I will try to link her, um, uh, video, so yeah, um, thank you for listening, um, it, it's been a pleasure doing these videos, um, I enjoy doing them, um, it, it's a fun, for me um just doing these videos um and, and it's nice like you guys are watching these videos um uh anyways like share and subscribe um i, I hope uh, this video does get views um i've been worrying about like some of my recent videos aren't getting much views so i'm hoping like um videos do you get views so yeah anyways uh i hope you all have a good day um yeah um yeah have a good day goodbye